Welcome to the UQuest tutorial videos. In this UQuest demonstration, we'll review how to add a shout box to a website in the Tag Board module. From the control panel, navigate to your page under the General tab so you can preview what your page currently looks like. Back over in the control panel, view your inactive modules and click on Tag Board. If your module is not installed, choose Install the module. Now that we've added this, let's check out the Tag Board on our site. Go to your URL and you can see the new tag board in place on your page. To add a message, type your content in the comment box and click OK. This is a great way for visitors to interact and get involved with your website. Another user can come along and type a response to your comment, which will be posted to the tag board as well, almost like a mini form right on the home page. The post shows the username and time of posting, but these can also be modified by clicking the fourth icon, which will open the entire tag board in a new window. You can make modifications to your posts by clicking on the edit or pencil icon and changing parts of your message or your display name. Close out of the new dialog window and click the refresh button in your tag board to see the updated messages. To remove tag posts, go back and open the tag board in a new window and click the remove button on any post. Click OK to confirm removal. Upon refreshing of the tag board, we can see the reply post has been removed. Let's go back to the control panel and in the tag board's module management, click module settings. Here you can choose to change your display of new entries to load at the top or at the bottom, add additional fields for messages, or rename defaulted settings. You can change the maximum amount of characters allowed in a message, or even censor out words you don't want displayed on your tag board. Click on Permissions of User Groups to see more settings available for modification, such as who can add new entries and editing your own messages. Permission of user groups can be changed in the user group section, so we'll navigate to that page. Click Set Permissions for All Groups and click the Tag Board module. Here is where you can make settings for who is able to make specific changes to your tag board. Go back to your main page and at the top, under Builder, select Enable Builder. Under the Tag Board, if you click the block settings, you're able to see how to add site elements, such as the Tag Board. If you go to the HTML tab, you're able to view the specific code for this tag board. For now, we can just close out of the box. Go back up to Builder and click Disable Builder. Navigate back to your control panel and under the Tag Board module, click Get the Code, which is also where you can copy the code for your tag board. Back on your home page, under the Site menu, click on Chat, and then the second Edit HTML Code icon. Remove where it says empty in your page content and paste the chat code. Save changes and go to the page. Now we're able to see the tag board within our chat page as well. For more videos, visit video.ucuz.com.